I'm sitting here with Steve Grossman, he's the Democratic candidate uh, from uh, Massachusetts State Treasurer. Uh, Steve, what did you think of the event tonight? Well, I was really excited by how many people came. I mean, I didn't count the number of people who came, but it could have been close to 100 people here tonight. And that so many people coming to the first meeting of the Tufts Democrats this year, when classes have just started today, uh, speaks to a a real aspiration or yearning on the part of tough students to be involved in political action. Uh, it's a time of some crisis economically and politically in this country. A lot of things are uncertain in people's lives, yet I think the group of people that I spent the evening with here tonight understand that organizing and getting involved in political campaigns is a chance to make positive societal change through the candidates they support the campaigns they get involved with. So I was pretty excited by how many people came tonight. In a race like the Campaign for Treasure, uh, what is the role of college students and young people in general uh, you know, in a campaign like this? Well, the role of any activist, and college students are no different than any other activist, is that even though we believe in using social media and high tech and high technology you know, tools to organize, ultimately I'm always a believer that high touch is better than high tech and that if you're on the phones calling voters, if you're doing visibilities, if you're creating a presence for your campaign so people know what the treasurer does, who you are, what you stand for, and college students can be and can play a meaningful role in every one of those activities. So we've invited college students in from different parts of the state to be active in the campaign, to use their cell phones. In the old days, phone banks were only done in one place. You'd go for a phone bank and there'd be 15 phones and people would have to go to a place. Now you can use your own cell phone to make your own calls. You can get your own list sent to you. You can report back online as to what you found. And you can play a valuable role in identifying likely voters in primaries or in general elections. And students are energetic, they're passionate, they care, they're willing to spend whatever amount of time it takes if they feel that they're getting some personal fulfillment out of it. And over and over again, I've seen Tufts Democrats get involved in campaigns and play particularly significant roles again and again over the last 10 or 15 years when I've had the privilege of coming over here. I think this may be the sixth, seventh, eighth time I've spoken to Tufts Democrats over the years, and I've always found the conversation to be stimulating and the energy to be palpable. You're the chairman of the DNC and the head of the Massachusetts uh, Democratic Party. Uh, what compels you to get into the uh, treasurer's race now? Because I think the treasurer's job <coughs> in a time of economic crisis is all about doing three things. Protecting the public's money, helping to create jobs, and helping to revitalize the small business sector and the economy. Uh, this state, Massachusetts, where I grew up, I was born here, I've been here all my life, this state will succeed based on certain key investments. And one of them is in technology and innovation, and the second is in streamlining processes to help businesses grow. And if we hope that this state grows, and we hope to attract and retain college students who graduate from college and go to work in the Massachusetts economy, we've got to provide enough jobs for them. We've got to provide the economic opportunity. And that's what I've spent all my life doing. I'm the only candidate running for state treasurer in either party whose entire career has been all about creating jobs. It seems to me that's the biggest fear college students whom I speak with have. Is there going to be a job for me when I graduate from college? Am I going to be able to pay my bills? Am I going to be able to help my parents out? I'm lugging around a lot of debt. I need to deal with that. And is Massachusetts a place where I can find the opportunities that I hope to have with a great college education like you get at Tufts? Would you say that that job creation is your top priority as a state treasurer? I do. I think it's the top priority of anybody who serves in public life. If you want to be a governor, a constitutional officer, if you want to play a leadership role at the highest levels of state government or at the federal level, you've got to be thinking always about creating jobs and about providing people in Massachusetts the tools to compete and win and making sure that small businesses get the capital from the banks they need to have the confidence to be able to grow. So it's all a process by which you use your skills. And I've spent 35 years of my life going to work every day, creating jobs, meeting payrolls, managing money, 
solving problems dealing with crises. When Bill Clinton and I were talking one day, when I was chairman of the DNC, he said, Steve, if you ever run for office, just remember, you're in the solutions business. Common sense, practical solutions that empower people, that lift them up, and give them an opportunity to make tomorrow better than today. That's the job of an elected official, and I see it that way. Uh, with the week to go before the primary, what do you think is the most important thing that Massachusetts voters know about you? What they know about me or what, they, what I want them to know about me? Either one. I think what they're learning about me very quickly over the past week and we'll learn over the next week through our TV advertising and also through the uh, editorial endorsements that I've had from 11 newspapers, including the Boston Globe, the Boston Herald, some of the journal and other papers in this area, is that I'm a small businessman who has the right values, who takes care of his colleagues, who provides them with high wages, good benefits, paid family leave, that I'll bring those, those kinds of values to the job, that I will help create jobs, that I will protect the public's money, and that I will do the job in a way that will help the, the state get back on its feet, the small businesses get back on their feet. That's what I hope to learn. I think some of them know it now, which is, I think, why the campaign has momentum. And evenings like this give me an opportunity to talk to you know, students who, in turn, have other relationships. And there are just concentric circles that are created. You know that phenomenon of throwing a pebble in the water, and you see those concentric circles ripple out. Anytime I speak to a group, whether it's a group of seniors, whether it's a group of uh, iron workers, whether it's a group of students, it's an opportunity to build relationships, and ultimately, that's what life is all about. That's what politics is all about, building relationships with people who look at you and say, I like him, I respect him, I trust him. Okay. I'm going to vote for him. That's really the progression. Sure. Do you know me? Do you like what you see? Do you trust that I'll do the right thing and are you going to vote for me? And so that's what we're in this last six days of trying to convince enough people to vote for us so that we win the primary and go on to the general election against our Republican opponent. Right. Steve, thanks so much for your time. Thank primary you. day is uh, September 14th.